Hey guys, welcome back to Justing STEM. Here today, we have an unboxing video for you guys. So over here, we have some snap circuits. Uh, I've had this for a really long time, and I wanted to share with you guys, you know, what, what it's all about. So let's, uh, let's open it real quick. So in the box, we have our instructions, or our experiment guide. We have our actual board, where we're gonna make our experiments on. And we have our components. So this snap circuit, this snap circuit book contains about a hundred experiments. All of them are unique in their own way, and all of them have one thing in common: snap the circuit himself. Snap circuits. These little little these little bits over here that can connect all around the board basically create a current, making sure that the electricity can flow through them. So, let me give you a quick guide on what the actual pieces or parts or components are. So, there are many variants of these actual snap circuits themselves. We have two pieces. We have a four piece. We have a five piece. And we even have a six piece. One of the most valuable pieces are the three and one pieces. Three and one pieces, as they're very accessible and can be used in many ways. Make sure once you're done using the snap circuits, you put them back, because the bottom bits, if you leave them unopened like that, they can get rusted and eventually they won't work anymore. So you want to make sure you're taking care of them. So, in the snap circuit, we have many modules that we can use. So to start off, we have a motor that we can use to connect a fan. And the fan will move when the motor moves. We have some components over here that can send signals throughout the whole circuit. We have a light, a sound system, a speaker, some switches, and this is another very important component for our speaker. This is what sends the sound from our three music boxes, or our little sound boxes over here, into the speaker. So it's very important. We have our power supply, which is our two AA batteries, negative and positive. And we have our connector wires, our jump starter wires. So as a demonstration, I'm going to be showing you experiment number one, electric light switch. This is going to be a simple experiment where I'm going to create a circuit using these simple components to make a light turn on. So for this experiment, we can see, I'll show you how to read the instructions. If we go, it'll say project one, project one. And it'll give you a, a picture of what it should look like. You can follow the picture by copying what it shows over there. And remember, since it's a snap circuit, you can make it any way you want. It doesn't have to be just like the picture. It can be, for all you know, it could be a rectangle or square. It can be any way you want it. So, let's start. As you can see, it says, it says that we require four two pieces. So we'll take four when this is two. It also says that we'll need our light switch, which we already have. We'll need a three piece, which is one of our important pieces. We will need our on and off switch and our power supply. So to start it off, I'm going to put my power supply down. I'm going to put my little switch, which is going to go on and off down. 
I'm gonna put my power, my actual light. This three special piece. And as you can see, they just snap right into place. So, when you want to turn it on, you see this on and off switch. We click it, and it turns on. Now, let's explain why. So, the battery bank over here is sending electricity through these little circuit snaps over here. So when we remove it, or one of them, it won't turn on anymore. But if we keep it on, and we even touch it, the light turns on. That's because the electricity is sent through these little knobs, through the metal, into the piece. So when I turn it off, even though it's not snapped yet, it's still showing light. When you hear that snap, that means the piece is very secure in. It won't fall out. If I remove it, and it's not snapped, if I don't hear that snap, it'll work, but the piece will fall out. Want to make sure you snap it in. The power from the power bank gets sent through here, this knob, into the power switch, through this knob, like a current all the way around and into the light switch. The filament on the inside of the bulb heats up and that's why we see the light. It goes right back into the power source and that's what we call a circuit. This is what we like to call a closed circuit. If you notice, it's closed. There's no entryways that you can put. If I were to take another snap circuit and put it on, nothing would happen because it's already closed. We already have one straight path. But if I were to open it and make this circuit, instead of a closed circuit, an open circuit, now I can add more pieces like so. If I want to add a sound piece, or I can add a motor of some sort, I can take the switch away, put the motor in, and just like that, I now have a light and a motor. Let's see what it looks like with the fan. This is gonna be an important part. Uh, I've put a little piece of color over here so you can see that the fan is actually moving. So let's put this on. And when we click it on, the fan will turn on. Now, if you notice, the light got dimmer when the fan started moving. That's because the electricity is being split both ways. But notice when I stop it, the light turns back to full brightness. But when I let go, it goes dim again. That is because when I stop the movement of the motor, all the electricity coming to the motor is now being sent towards the light. Now if I were to take my hand off, the light is now being sent back into the motor, and so on. Now, in the beginning of the video, I said that you can create, it doesn't, you can create anything with these snap circuits. It doesn't have to be just from the book. Sure, you might have hundreds of experiments that you can do, but what if you want to experiment on your own? Create your own ideas. And that's where creativity comes in. You can take these normal parts and you can make some super monster machine out of them. You can use two switches. You can use multiple sounds. You can use these kind of switches that change the output of the electricity. All comes down to your creativity. Now remember, if you do use these snap circuits, you wanna make sure you don't lose any of these pieces. 
They are not replaceable. You want to be very careful with them so you don't damage them, because they're really important. Otherwise, you can't really work your machine. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching Dressing Stone with us.